Okay, this is a cheap do-it-yourself hydroponic system. What I've done was tried to replicate a Dutch bucket system as cheap as possible. So what I did is I had some bricks laying around. The ground was naturally on a slope. So I got a crate for free from an air conditioner company. These are 10 foot long crates. And then I cut out uh, the section Pulled a couple boards over, moved them to the center to make a good platform. The buckets are actually cat litter buckets. Um, got those from free for free from a friend. I also took and um, bought my grommets. You can see where my pipe comes out. Hopefully you can see. It's not too dark. I used three quarter inch electrical pipe grommets I got from Ace Hardware. Those cost me about a dollar a piece. So um, that was 10 buckets. So that was $10 for that. My 90s were about 20 cents a piece. I did a 90 on the outside and a 90 on the inside. So that was about $4 for all the 90s. Piece of uh, half inch PVC pipe. Another two bucks for the bottom. Um, I did spend a little extra down here for my drain line. I wanted to make sure this was a good watertight seal. So I got an inch and a half piece of PVC. I got a half inch pipe thread male to a half inch PVC coupling. Um, again, trying to save money. Instead of threading it, what I did was I bought a half inch pipe plug, steel plug like they use for the uh, uh, steel pipe and hooked that to my drill with a socket and drilled into the half inch piece of pipe uh, the half inch plug into the inch and a half PVC which cut my threads so then I was able to screw in my half inch fittings that made a good watertight seal to the PVC pipe. I bought a cheap pump for $16 off of eBay. I got a 32 gallon trash can from Walmart for $10 and I was able to unscrew the fitting. It was a half inch pipe fitting on the sub pump. Put it in, comes up here to my half inch PVC. Instead of buying the dripper nozzles, um, I just came up here in the center, teed off going to both sides, and I drilled five 32nd inch holes uh, on angles on each side. Um, I've still got to get me some um, zip ties I'm going to zip tie these buckets in the middle so that this will be properly spaced and I figure I'll plant a plant on either side. As you see, I've got good water flow here. Uh, i got good drainage coming out going to my pump. And all together, figure 16 for the pump, 20 for fittings, about $40 uh, trash can. So about $50 here, I've got a 10 bucket hydroponic system. All I have left to purchase is my media. I'll probably get some expanded clay balls and um, my nutrients. But this system for $50 looks to me to compete with any of the $450 pre-designed systems that they have on the market. So I uh, hope this uh, video helps you. I had looked around and had just kind of pieced together from other videos um, post a comment and uh, any questions I try to show all the fittings um, the rubber grommet like I say Ace Hardware had those there were a three pack in the electrical section for um, $2.99 a piece um, half inch elbow um, screwed into my inch and a half uh, and everything is so watertight when I first turned the pump on the buckets all started filling up above my drain lines in here because they were all empty and then all of a sudden whenever the pressure got up enough that the water flowed through it created a suction and started actually sucking out of the uh, buckets here and I could hear it kind of gurgling where it created a vacuum and so now all my buckets are the perfect exactly the same level water height and um, I will be going this weekend to getting some plants and some media to put in here. So um, hopefully I will be posting again in a month or so uh, with anything I find out about 
how to grow since I've never done this before and hopefully this will help some other beginners.